The collaboration project of Warhol and Basquiat is definitely one of the most, if not the most important collaborative project of two artists. Untitled summarizes so much of their worlds. It is a testament of their collaboration. Untitled is one of the highly complex collaborations by Warhol and Basquiat. What is especially thrilling is how there's languages and there's elements interween with each other. Basquiat is the one you would see first with his stunning head in the center. But both artists have typical language in the work, like brandings, like logos, like zenit. They would usually not work at the same time on the canvas. There's some evidence they did it in some cases, and this could be one of the cases. But usually it would be like Warhol would start, and then Basquiat would kind of countering what Warhol has been creating before. It seems like that Warhol started with hand painting elements of a ketchup glove, loafers, as well as tennis records. The idea is sports. Basquiat counters with mask-like faces, flower-like vegetative forms. The sheer size of this canvas, 10 by 13 feet, gives them the possibility to spread out their symbols and signs in a way they did not do in the smaller formats. Here, you see a work about consumer society. You have the price, what's the cheapest, what's the most expensive. And here, the worlds collide in a way which is fascinating. Because Warhol, on the one hand side, saying that a great businessman can be a great artist, or great business is great art. On the other hand, you have Askia, who is taking a lot of his inspiration from the market, from the streets in Brooklyn, from the signage, with expressions like Pesonetto, like the opposite of the capitalist society. In this dialogue they are having, they created a new language, a remix language, which is a term today which is very understandable, but in the 80s, it was very hard to understand. When Basque and Warhol started this collaboration, both of them were very established and respected artists. In 1982, they formally met for the first time at the factory of Andy Warhol, introduced by Bruno Bischofberger, and immediately Basque would create a double portrait, Dos Cabezas. Over the course of the next many months, they would become dear friends. I would say that there is always competition between artists. But in case of Basque and Warhol, they had a great friendship. It was all this collaboration with extreme respect. This painting, to me, is like a friend. I've seen it many times before, but I've really had the time to study during our exhibitions. This continues to give you so much, and each time you see it, you discover something new.